Hey there guys, it's Oliver here again and I'm on my third week of setting up my own dating website as you have all seen my previous videos. So here are a few other points that I'm going to kind of dive deep into on starting your own dating website. So one of the first things that I found really important, um, you know, going through this and kind of researching some uh, other stuff on what it takes to start your own, web or your own dating website. So one of the main things you want to really focus on is finding your own niche. You really want to narrow down who you're trying to target. Um, you know, I can, there's an example of trek.com, which is an online dating website. And this is for lonely Trekkies to, you know, have a website and a platform to all, you know, get to know each other. So you want to find a niche and remember the narrower the, the niche is and the more specific it is, it's going to affect the volume and the amount of people you can get on there, which can also, you know, depend on how high you can go in profitability with your business model. So that's something to really keep in mind when you are finding a niche. For instance, with my own site that I'll be starting, I actually found two niches that I'm going to be focusing on. However, I'm not going to tell you guys what those niches are, but you know, there's two of them that I'll be really, you know, laser beaming in on. So another thing you want to also focus on is your business model. So there's two types of uh, ways you can start your own dating site. You can do a subscription where, you know, everybody pays some sort of a fee to keep using your services. Uh, you know, if it's monthly or annually, they're paying for your service. Okay. So then there's another one which is free and you run ads on your site. And you can make money through that. Um, for instance, there's websites that are free and they have ads and they have 30 million users and then there's subscription ones that only have 1.6 million users, but they're getting money from each of those clients. Now, if you're doing subscription, you have to make sure you're giving your customers some sort of value, right? They want to know if they're paying, they're getting something, there's a great service. So that's something to really think about which way you want to go. I know match.com, um, they have about 1.3 million subscribers that they're billing probably every single month. And then there is um, plenty of fish, for instance, is one that you can join for free. So they bring in a large audience and it's a free platform, but you will see advertisements on their website. So, you know, that's something to really think about which route you want to go. Um, again, think about it and if you are going one way or another you just always want to make sure you are providing what your client is expecting of it right next thing you want to do is you want to lure your clients in so once you know what your niche is you want to bring those customers to you so you know for instance you know if you're doing subscription give out a discount right so give out some sort of a discount as a promotion for signing up you know, tell all your friends, all your single friends to go on there so you kind of get those numbers up because if you're going on a dating website, you want to make sure there's a lot of people out there for you to meet and mingle with. So you want to make sure you're luring people in and then you can kind of dive deeper into running Facebook ads and Google ads and, you know, targeting your niche target audience, okay? Next thing you want to focus on is your algorithm. So algorithm is basically to make matches on your website. Um, for instance, I know match.com, you know, they ask about, or eHarmony, sorry, eHarmony asks about 400 different questions uh, or 400 pages of questions because they really want to make sure they get so much information from all their clients that they're able to perfect their algorithm. So that's again something for you guys to really think about is how you're gonna develop that on your platform. Okay, next thing you guys want to do is quality control. What this means is you don't want people abusing your website, right? So you want to maintain a really good quality of your website. You want to give them a feature to be able to flag people if you know there's some sort of a sexual harassment going on or if somebody is abusing the platform. You know, you want to make sure that privacy that people are putting out there that they have, you know, it, that they feel secure using your website to meet people. Now, what happens outside of your platform once they meet is you really want to make sure you find a lawyer and kind of sit down with them and make sure you're not liable, you know, for you know, outside of platform, you know, meetings or if something, you know, God forbid was to ever happen that you're not held responsible. So it's very um, important for you guys to also th start thinking about if you're setting up your own dating website. Okay. Um, another point is, and I've said this before, is you have to be different. You have to, you know, 
give something out there that they're not going to find anywhere else, right? So, you know, think about being creative, how you're going to be different, how you're going to stand out amongst everybody else, and why are, you know, why is your target audience going to want to use your website as opposed to all the other ones that are out there? So, again, be different. It's a must. And another one is you want to find the right tools to build your website. So, as I had mentioned in my previous videos, is you can start off on platforms, right, that already have developed services that they can provide you with, and you build off of that, you scale off of that, or you can always have it, you know, built from scratch, you can find a programmer, however, this is, you know, a lot more expensive, so you're gonna need a little bit more capital, if not a lot more capital to start this, but hey, if you have it, 100% go for it and do it. So there's always two different ways to go about it. If you have a budget, you know, you want to scale up, you know, there's services out there and I've um, touched on that, you know, uh, point as well in my previous videos. So check those out. But these are kind of some of the main points, you know, I actually drew out some of the main points that you need to start thinking about if you're going to get into this business model. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about what I touched on today. If there's anything else I should add to my list, um, please leave your comments below. You know, um, this is a journey that I'm on, so it's great to hear feedback, and I think the more of it, the better. So um, stay tuned for more videos, because I'll be releasing some more content for you guys to uh, check out as well. Thanks.